Hello guys and welcome to this extra video for third person controller in Unity. In this video we are going to implement the backward movement since there was a lot of requests for that. So for this first of all we need to open up the animator window and go to our blend tree for the movement. So what we want to do here is we want to add two extra motions. So add motion with this plus icon here. And those motions will go before those three motions. So we need to change the threshold value. First one will have a threshold of minus one. And this will be the running. And the second one will have a threshold of minus 0.2. And this will be the walking backwards. So let's use this cog icon to choose the animation. And as we open up the basic animation, basic motion package, we have here the backwards run. And this will be the first animation. And this will look like, uh, I think we can play it. Uh, let's change the uh, value for minus one. Okay. Now, uh, what we want for the second motion is backward walking. But we do not have this animation. So we are going to use the walk animation. And instead, we are going to change the speed of the animation to minus one. And this will make this go. Let's play it and let's decrease it to 0.2. And we can see that the walk animation in the, is now played backwards. So we can achieve this backward uh, walking movement, walking animation, using this value of animation speed. Okay. Now we need to implement some changes to our code. So let's open up the scripts folder and let's open up the agent movement script. So you might recall that we preset our animation using the function set correct animation and we receive a float value which is the speed or rather the animation speed multiplier that we will multiply the movement vector with. So now let's slide up and we are going to add another private float and this will be called input vertical direction. Let's preset it to be zero. Okay, now we need to set it somewhere. So let's slide down to the handle movement and here we said that if input dot y is greater than zero we perform movement. So now let's change it to is different than zero. Okay, so now we know that this is not zero. So now we need to check if input dot y is greater than zero or is it less than zero, so else. Now if it is greater than zero we are going to set input vertical direction equals math f dot sale to int and we are going to set input dot y. Now in the other case we are going to call input vertical direction equals math f dot floor to int and again input dot y. So now what is going to happen if input.y is minus 0.2, it will be floored to minus 1. And here, if it is 0.2, it will be sale to 1, so the nearest uh, integer value. Here will, it will be a positive value, while here it will be a negative value. And we are going to do only that here in this part of the code. Let's slide it down. Let's search for the update function. Here it is. And what we will do now is we are going to pass to our correct animation, set correct animation, our input vertical direction. Let's save it. Let's go to this function by right clicking and using go to implementation. Okay. And here we are going to pass float input vertical direction. Now we have this parameter passed to this function. And we will need to do a couple of changes here. So here we have desired angle uh, greater than 10 and uh, less than minus 10. And now here we have checked previously current animation speed is less than 0.2f. Now we are going to add to it math f dot abs, so absolute value of the current animation speed. Because now we can have current animation speed less than zero. So if, if it is so, we are going to add to it 
input direction input vertical direction times the time dot delta time times two so we have uh, we can have it uh, as minus one so we are going to decrease the current animation speed to get to running backwards from walking backwards or from standing to walking backwards and if we are going forwards then it will play as it was playing already and now we, we need to check the, the clamp function because it will not clamp between zero but between minus point to f since this part of the code was supposed to set our walk animation and we can set the move to current animation speed now else we are going to check if our current animation speed is plus equals and again input vertical direction times time dot delta time times two and we are going to set uh, we are going to delete this part and we are going to set here math f dot clamp and we are going to clamp this value between minus one and one okay so here we will get the current animation speed as negative or positive value so we want to uh, get the absolute value of it so math f dot apps and we are going to pass the current animation speed so we are going to get the absolute value of this parameter uh, parameter of the speed of the animation okay so let's go back to our update function okay here it is and now the issue is that our movement vector is only getting the forward the transform that forward in our uh, handle movement method so now we are going to multiply it also by input dot y so here this will make the movement vector be either backwards or forwards depending on the y input and the animation will be played correctly so we can go back to unity okay so let's press play and now we should be able to run backwards now of course if we start moving our mouse around our character will change direction of his movement so this could be adjusted by tweaking the uh, range of the a desired rotation so how much uh, of the difference should be between the angle of the mouse uh, direction and the character movement to change the rotation and to rotate the character but i suppose uh, you can handle tweaking this movement to your liking but basically this is how you would update this movement to implement the running backwards functionality so i hope this gives you an idea of how easily we can tweak this uh, character movement to implement different ways to move our character of course you can implement the sideways movement if you tweak it a bit so thank you guys for watching if you have enjoyed this video or this video series please leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my channel or share this video with others it will help me immensely take care